expert. Well, we have two big boys in there right now. Baby Bull and Che Cabrera. What kind of match do you think this is going to be? I think it's all baby BS. That's what I think it is. So I think, I think uh, Che Cabrera is going to have to... Uh, well, how do I put it? Grab the bull by the horns. He did say earlier today that, you know, he was the bull of bulls and that he's the king bull. So we'll find that out tonight. You're, you're Cabrera said that? He did. He said it in Spanish, but he did say that. Do you speak Spanish? Not really. I can understand it. You can understand it, but you can't speak it. Not really. My accent's embarrassing. Anyways, Baby Bull, he has that collegiate wrestling background, trying to use that to his advantage here early on in this matchup. He's quite the experienced collegiate wrestler. Yeah, but this isn't collegiate wrestling. This is professional wrestling. CIF champion. All irrelevant. Well, former American. EWF American champion here? Yeah, that didn't last very long. I'm just saying, he's a pretty accomplished competitor. And again, using those collegiate style yeah, takedowns. Yeah, you're grading on a curve, yeah. Those collegiate style takedowns there. Baby Bull, he's a very dangerous man. He, he can take you down, he can strike. Yeah, especially at the buffet table. Oh, he's, he's definitely a, a larger guy, but I think he, he could definitely move for his size. I mean, he has those incredible sentons, and I think he he's a pretty multi-dimensional wrestler. He wrestles in other dimensions? Oh, you know what I mean. Yes, but do you know what you mean? I do. Not that he wrestles in other dimensions, but just that... You said he's a multi-dimensional wrestler. Yeah, dimension could mean skill set. Oh, Got him what, with kind the grades, what kind of grades did you get in school? Uh, A's and B's. Uh, why don't I believe you? <laughs> Sometimes. A little thumb to the eye there. That works no matter how tough you are. Yeah, but Baby Bull was trying to wrestle him legitimately there. Well, that's where Baby Bull screwed up. This is professional wrestling. And Shay now picking him up by the straps. And yeah, you can do some hold to hold. But if that doesn't work, punch the guy in the face. Oh, oh chop devastating him. chop. You see that in collegiate wrestling? I don't believe you do. Wow. That chop just echoed here through the EWF arena. Baby Bull better protect for that or he's going to get another one. Shay looking to. Whip him into the corner. Huge knee there. Che rushes in. Oh, and he misses with the elbow. Baby Bull. Oh, huge cross body. That's a lot of weight coming down on you. Oh, is it? oh Japanese arm drag. And the Baby Bull is starting to get fired up here. He catches Che here on the outside. How's he going to drag him back in here? Well, he's not going to drag him in back that way. Oh, look, a unique tie-up here. Oh! Huge uppercut from the baby bull. I'm actually glad he tied him in the ropes like that because if he would have hit him without doing that, he would have went right into us. Boy, would he. And that's a big boy to be landing in our laps. Probably would have crushed our table. Baby bull with huge shots to the back. Lifting up Che. And it looks like early on here, the Bulls just looking for some big strikes here. He started with his collegiate wrestling background, but now he's working back into what we normally see from him in his normal offense. It looked like he's throwing a little spice in his game there in the beginning. Oh, huge shoulder tackle flying through the air. How spicy was that? Extremely. Che Cabrera. You're probably excited for the Spice Girls reunion this year in 2016, aren't you? That's why you're using that word spicy, huh? Oh, God. It's 
okay, you can admit it. Not a Spice Girl fan. Anyways, you're two, lying. <laughs> two count right there. I'll tell you what you want, what you really, really want. You sound like the fan, sir. Choke yeah, I'm a fan, but for other reasons. Oh boy. The family show, we can't go into that. I know. I bet you'd like me to, though, wouldn't you, Brian? Sure. <laughs> oh, huge headbutt there from Jay. Baby Bull is left on one knee. That shoulder tackle seems to have taken a lot of steam out of the Baby Bull. It looked like he was on a roll there, and then that flying shoulder tackle, and the matchup's completely changed. Oh! Jay called for quiet, and he didn't disappoint. It's a devastating chop. Oh. And just mocking the baby bull is Che Cabrera. That's what you do to a baby. Like I said earlier today, he said he was the king of the bulls. He was the, a bull's bull. He's showing that right now. He was not int intimidated by the baby bull one bit. And he's showing that tonight. He's even taking time to showboat here. You don't want to take too long. You want to stay on him. Yeah. Yeah, see? There it is. Baby bull with a little comeback here. Needs to cut him off. Trying to take... Che off his feet, not successful yet. Baby Bull hits the ropes. Oh, sunset flip. No, che rolls, rolls over. over. Oh, wow. close line. Unbelievable. Baby Bull getting rolled over. And I think the size of the Baby Bull actually helped him on that kick out. It took Che so long to push him over, I think he recovered his senses there. I know you, you mock the man for his size, but it has its advantages. Hey, size does have advantages, but it's all how you use it. Che removing the tape from his wrist, and oh, he's choking the baby bull. And baby bull is taking a beating here early on in this matchup. He wanted to rally behind these fans here in the EWF arena. And well, that was they, his first mistake. Yeah. And they are being silenced here by Jay. Oh, huge chop again. And the chest of the baby bull is just getting crushed. Irish whip into the corner. Jay follows it up. Oh, reversal. Knees into the stomach from the baby bull. Oh, spear. Huge. That could do it right here. Two. Oh. No. And Che kicks out. I don't think he was. He didn't kick out. He just raised his shoulder. He didn't have enough strength to kick out. I think he caught him by surprise. He had this matchup completely in control. It was just as you predicted, a very one-sided affair. But somehow, the baby bull is back in this. Baby bull looking for the cannonball. Oh. Rushes Che with that cannonball. Baby Bull rolls him up. Er, Wait two. a minute, his foot was outside the ring. Can't pin a guy like that. Hey, that falls on referee Nick Lira. Uh, you're right. The referees here are pretty incompetent. They never watch their own matches back because the same thing happens each every time. To their credit, it is a very hard, difficult sport to officiate. Baby Pulse misses the splash. And Wah, it's, it's difficult. Wah. All it is Your is a job. Bit. Do it and shut up. Jay Make up his mind what he's going to do with him. Yeah, Jay was trying to figure out what corner he wanted to whip it in. Oh, big back elbow. Baby Pulse a bit dazed. Oh, reverse. Oh! Into the turnbuckles. 
both men down. Looked like Che took that really hard on his neck there coming down. And somehow he's stirring first. That should show you the toughness of this man. And that was just he overhead belly to belly suplexed him into the corner. And he landed straight on his neck. Yes. There was nowhere else for him to go. Yeah. Oh! Huge avalanche from the baby bull. Whips him back in again. Is he going to look for it again? I think so. Oh! Another big avalanche. Let's we'll see if he goes back to the well here with that cannonball. Cannonball. He's, yeah, good. He's finally paying attention. His lights time, outside the rope. This time, referee Nick Lear catches the foot outside the rope. And the ball looking, baby ball looking to ascend. Possibly, he's going to the second rope here. Fly ball, fly! Yeah, but Jacob Burrow went outside. Bayville can't pin him, he rolled out to the floor. And that's veteran experience right there from Che Cabrera. Not if it gets you counted out. Not if it gets you counted out, but it might give him enough time to, to get his wits about, get back in the ring. Baby Bull slowly climbing out of the ring now to try to get him back in. Is this smart? I mean, he had the count out victory, possibly. Yeah, you take the win wherever you can get it. There's no title on the line here. Oh! And Baby Bull responds with a chop of his own. Well, as soon as the Baby Bull went out to the floor, the count had to restart. Right. So that gives him more time. Well, he might be, re oh. he might be regretting that decision. He's up to a six or a seven count. Yeah. Fans enjoying this brawl out here. Crowd solidly here behind the baby bull. And baby bull looking to build upon the momentum and the energy here in the building. Oh, huge boot from Che. He goes to the second rope. Oh! He's going for the cover. One, two. Oh, 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 two and a half. Oh, oh, oh. Two and three quarters. Unbelievable that that didn't finish off the baby bull. His head driven into the mat on that explosive DDT. Jay getting him up. He's got to be looking for something big here. Uppercut from the baby bull. Somehow he's finding resolve here to keep going. I don't know. He's standing up. That uh, oh! oh! He's standing now. And that clothesline turned him inside out. And surely now, surely this has to be it. Who's Shirley? You keep calling people Shirley. No. Don't and call me Shirley. I wasn't calling you Shirley. I was just in the S U R E L Y Shirley. Oh, he said that's everything. We'll see. And here comes Jay trying to pick him up. Oh, huge knee from the baby bull. He's looking for the Oklahoma Stampede. No, reversed. Picks him up. Oh, oh, rolls him up. Oh. No. I thought Che might have had him in that mad scramble right there. Yeah, he wasn't able to roll through all the way with that. So he didn't have as much leverage as he liked. No. This match has been interesting because it almost looks like collegiate oh. wrestling at times. Huge German oh. suplex. And here comes Baby Bull, he's got him up. Fireman, fireman's carry position. Oh! 
into a neckbreaker. Unbelievable. Baby Bull. He had him around the other side as well, like a jawbreaker. No. Action coming fast here. Baby Bull can't believe it. This is Che Cabrera. He's a tough customer. Baby Bull. Oh, he might be going for a cannonball for a third time. Going for a third cannonball. He thinks this has to do it. This will have. This will finish him off. No, oh, he misses. Oh, he missed. He misses. Will Baby Bull regret not taking the count out victory when he had it? He misses at that I third think he's cannonball. I already it, Brian. Third cannonball. Che figured out what he was doing and moved out of the way. He scouted him. Oh, oh. Rock splash up in the back. That was a very, very tough match. Both men showed unbelievable heart, taking unbelievable moves. But in the end, Jay Cabrera capitalized on Baby Bull's mistakes. That's my opinion, the Baby Bull himself is a mistake. <laughs> he went for that third cannonball, and Jay figured out what he was doing. And it was too obvious. Well, you can only go to the well so many times, Brian, where your, your opponent's going to go, oh, I see it coming. And I think Baby Bull wanted to win, you know, one, two, three in the ring for the fans and instead of taking the count out victory. But he's got to realize wins are wins at some point. Absolutely. Like I said, no title was on the line. He should have taken the count out. But pride got the better of him. And yeah. guess what? He lost. And he lost to the better man and the better athlete, Jay Cabrera. Well, I don't know if, if that was the case, but definitely tonight. I think Baby Bull is a great athlete in his, in, in his own right. And on any given night, could probably beat any man in the EWF. But tonight just wasn't his night. It was like tonight's not your night either, right?